Hey there, Marty Robbins fans. Eric Andreas here, your guitar sage. And today I'm going to teach you how to play Big Iron. I love this song. I grew up with it as I grew up with a lot of old school country and cowboy tunes and all that good stuff. This is one of my favorite. I won't sing the entire song all the way through, but I'll play through all the chords and each part. Uh, for those of you that can just watch what I'm doing, you'll get it right away. And for those of you that need more help with left and right hand technique, I'm going to show you um, the whole enchilada, what I'm doing here. And I'm probably going to sing through a verse or two. I've got my lyrics right here so I don't slaughter them. And, um, and Marty rolls over in his grave because I love me some Marty Robbins, okay? So here it goes. Um, I'm going to show you the chords here in just a minute. It's going to go like this. To the town of Bogwood, free of the road, a stranger one fine day. Hardly spoke to folks around him, didn't have too much to say. No one dared to ask his business, no one there to make a slip. The stranger there among them had a big iron on his hip, big iron on his hip. Big iron, big iron Stranger there on him had a big iron on his hip Big iron on his hip Okay, so obviously I did one verse and then I went into the very end of the song because everything in between is more verse, okay? So we don't have to go over the nine verses that are in that song or however many. I just need to show you the chords and all that good stuff, okay? So obviously, I'm capoed here at the fourth fret, so playing with a capo is gonna keep you from, from playing a bunch of bar chords on this tune. If you wanna play bar chords, you could, um, but to make it easy here, uh, capo at the fourth fret, and your chords are going to be uh, A minor, E, A minor, and then, in the, and then in the psalm, there's a C and an F but that's pretty much all the chords. I'm assuming you know these chords already. If you don't, uh, go to yourguitarsage.com and download the free guitar instructional ebook that I have there that has these basic forms and along with some other ones that are more complex and that will help you learn as an aid to the several hundred videos that I have here on YouTube. Okay, so check that out. Um, I'm assuming that you either know these chords already or that you're back and you've downloaded that and you're looking at these chords. A minor, E, F, and C, okay? So, we're capoed here. These are the forms that we're using. So obviously we're in a different key, but we're gonna think about the forms instead of the actual chords, okay? All right, so, before I get into the strumming, the beginning part's gonna go A minor, E, A minor, okay? And then C, a minor, one day, two, two, three, four, C, three, four, A minor, F, there to ask his business, no one, C, stranger there among them had, A minor, F and C, okay? Now when it goes into big iron, that's F, big iron, C. Stranger there among them had a big iron on his hip. That's an A minor, F, C. That is the entire tune, okay? Super cool, super easy, right? So basically you just need to know those open chords and then as far as the right hand technique, let me show you what I'm doing here and I'll break it down. So let me break this down for you. I'm doing a lot of hand muting here, right hand muting. If you need help here on YouTube for that, type in muting your guitar stage, which is my name, and um, I'll show you a video to help you out with that. Also strumming. If you need help with that, I've got a very incredible, intense mini video course series that you can find at unstoppableguitarsystem.com. Both those links are in the description of the video below. So check those out. Um, but basically we're doing one, two, one, two, three, and four, and one, two. 
me count this. So we got Basically, you're accenting on two and four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And the rest of the time, one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. And so basically, you're hitting the strings every single time, both up and down. So start, always your ones are on a downbeat, okay? So. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four. Make sure you're able to do that slow, like this, first, before you attempt to do it fast. If you can't do it slow, you certainly are not going to be able to do it fast, okay? You got to work up to it. So let's say we got that one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two. This is great, a great practice, by the way, to just put your left hand or your fretting hand on the strings and just mute like this and work on your strum. One, two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three. Once you got a good speed going and you feel pretty confident, you've worked that for, you know, five, ten minutes, fifteen minutes, an hour, however long it takes, then add a chord. Okay, that's pretty much it. And then for the chords, it's C, A minor. Now, I'm adding a little variation there where I'm going one, two, and three, and four, and one, two, and three, and four, and one, two, and three. And so basically, the one doesn't have an and, but all the, but two, and three, two, three, and four do. One, two, and three, and four, and one, two, and three, and four. And this rhythm study, along with some other rhythm studies, can be found in that free ebook at yourguitarstage.com. So get that if you need some help with the right hand. So one, two, and three, and four, and one, two, and three, and four, and one, two, and three, and four, and one, two. Okay, that's the entire song. Hopefully you found this helpful. If you have any questions about this, feel free to hit me up at facebook.com slash your guitar stage and I'll answer any questions about this video or any video that we've done. I'm not sure why I pointed out my guitar when I said the video. That's not the video, it's my guitar. <laughs> or hit me up at twitter.com slash your guitar stage. I'd love to help you out with any guitar needs that you have. This is Eric Andreas with your Guitar Sage. Always question the man.